and then you have the other four members together as a unit around objectives and poking down sieging towers. If there was ever a Giants style team composition, you can even go blade second if you want. Let's see bottom lane first though. Well, Yannan has actually flashed forward. He's delivered himself a shin. He's gonna get another death sentence. The box is down. Yannan's jump does get interrupted, but the monsoon's channeling. The explosive charge. Flash forward from Kasing. He needs one more. He gets one more. H2K can start taking up the objectives, and then Giants have to walk out and try God, and engage. Godfred, Godfred. Oh, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. He did it, he's down. Uh. Difficult situation for Giants, so they've lost all of their outer towers. 30 seconds in advance, you need to start making the move towards the top side. You cannot do it once Dragon has already gone down. Godfred caught again and he's down. Kasing and Ryu land the skill shots to get the fourth kill of the game. Rest in Pepiniros. Let's find out. Chaos Storm comes out. The rocket jump goes forward. That teleport was cancelled by Whirlib. Pepinero will be able to escape or not. Ryu's looking for more. Got no he spirit got charges. Go. I didn't even see Frederick going down. Got for here. Subjugate was thrown down onto Shen. He's healing and stealing the tanky stats, but you cannot survive a death sentence. They were famous for them until you cursed them on Apparently. the Telestrator. Audrey gets caught with a death sentence. Walking blind into a jungle. He's chasing, may not even need it. That's a good flash Beautiful. over the taunt. Cleanse comes out, but it won't be enough. Ryu gets the kill with the last spirit rush. So, to be able to adapt or go in and say what word oh, the mistakes. Oh, Peppy, he's going to be down. Stand United's being channeled. Odo One is looking for the taunt. Summon a heal will keep Godfrey alive for a second longer before the key strike secures it. The rest of H2K trying to get in from the side. That's a war dash. The kick will not get connected. Frederick's in trouble, but he will get bounced into the flay. The ah. flash death sentence just goes wide. Kasing will let it slide. That's Tier tower 2 remaining. tower remaining. Lulex may be able to get away with his life if Kasing can get in range. We did see the locket being thrown down, but the flank from Ryu is on. Spirit Rush is going to be chasing. Whirlib, wow, gets insta-gibbed. Relatively strong with Giants, but they can't defend multiple waves. Look, middle inhibitor turret almost down. Death Sentence connects. Kasing follows up with a flay. Tower will fall shortly, as does Whirlib. Tower goes down as a flash away from Pepe Nero. Will not keep him alive. Frederick follows suit. H2K have got the tower. Have got the inhibitor. They've got some minions conga lining in. And this could be the first game in the series. H2K did not give up a single death in 30 minutes. And they will be taking down Giants Nexus. Eight and zero. In the last few times they've played, they even get Audrey on the fountain. You have Shen one lane, you have Vayne the other lane, and you might be able to apply map pressure. Oh, obviously, Fist is going to do just fine, though, later on into the Shen. But in the start, it's going to be fine for, for Whirlip. One zero up. H2K, the highest seed coming out of the regular season. Looking to make it 2-0 and oh, and set themselves up for a match in the semi-finals against Origin. Will Giants turn it around? Will Giants pick up their first ever victory against H2K? We're loading up onto the rift to find out. Ignite is ticking down a whirl of Oda Wamna should run him down. Run him down. Get him down so you can TP bot lane. Can, can he, come on. He, he throws down the unbreakable will, but he still gets condemned against the wall. He's going to be blocking the damage. Lulex will find the kill onto Audrey. This might be game already. Kasing staying alive. The tower keeps him alive. Oduwan has teleported in for his first kill of the game. You're falling behind in your lanes. Mid lane tower has been chipped away slowly by Ryu over and over. Oh. Top lane, though. Fish is he may not even need Chum the Waters. Playful trickster up. Oh, with the help of Frederick, though, he will. So he's going to get shut down. H2K can make the best decision possible. Oh, Godfrey, he's going to Godfrey, he's going to be in trouble. Lulex is going to find Frederick. The Shockwave only catches Whirlip, which is not the greatest, but that's going to be two kills for H2K. Audrey's got the Stand United, but he's also got to chum the waters, and Fishy Business sends him home. A similar position to their last 20 games, where they are down 2,000 or more gold at 20. Oda Wamne is just going to eat Godfrey alive. Through Pixen Bands, and they're outplaying them on a macro level through 
map decisions. Ryu's not even going to go down to this all-in from Frederick, because Frederick had no support. Chaos Storm comes out. Pepe Nero will get the second kill of the game. Audrey's looking for Hyana, but he's not going to find him. Lulex has found uh, Pepe Nero, kicked him away. Sonic Wave gets tumbled. Audrey looking for the kill, but Kasing is still alive. Teleport from Whirlip. Whirlip also has Flash. Again, Sonic Wave misses. He's only one there. there. Does not. Playful Trickster. Taunt doesn't connect. H2K have turned their attention to the Ninja. A flash forward. Kyanan is not going to get the kill, and he will stay alive a few seconds longer before the shield comes in. Kyanan gets out. Odawam there finds Audrey. The damage dealer is down. The taunt connects onto Lulex and Giants. They put together three kills in a fight, but they are still 6,000 gold down. So again, with H2K overextending their welcome just a little bit, Giants does manage to get some kills. Very important for them. Sadly, Audrey didn't manage to get one. Whirly picked up. And Giants, Audrey was back in base when this fight started. When they went for that pick, he just recalled, so he wasn't even there. Let's see if he can do anything to stop this Baron, though. Stand United, looks like it is going to deliver into the base. Whirlib has managed to pick up a kill, but Lulek secures the Baron. El Bandido was not nearby. Close enough, rather. When you see Lulex getting dropped, the messy okay. Baron pit fight. Kasing didn't want the kill. Two for so it's one. good to see some smart play. The shockwave is just going to remove Pepper Nero as H2K kill another inner turret. Odawamba is looking for more. Playful Tricksters up into the wave. Baron empowered minions is going to allow H2K to take their fifth tower of the game, extend their gold lead to 11,000, and get super minions in the middle. I feel like we talked about this already, Trevor. How H2K can just set up so easy dives with Alistar and, and, and Fizz again and again and again. They just pop Silver ulti and run straight at you. Once you start falling behind, you have no proper way of stopping it. Frederick. Oduwamne is looking for Frederick. He's not going to find it, but he may find Audrey. Audrey's going to tumble for a few seconds, but it's Ryu that will get the kill credit. Audrey died for the fifth time this game. I believe the 23rd time all summer against H2K. Godfred goes in, Godfred goes out. Playful tricks are up. Oduwamne gets the last hit on the Nexus. Needs to be a thing. The last time I remember somebody speaking so passionately about Akathis was Froggen about a year ago at I think it's a Danish thing, you know? It could be he a Danish thing. Me. It could be. We'll need to see how Ryu can perform because if he's going to play as well as he has in the two previous games, this could be a clean sweep 3-0. and oh. H2K are fighting for a shot at the semi-finals and Origin and Giants. They just want to stay in the playoffs. Giants need to reverse sweep a team they have not beaten in the last 12 months. To get involved there, and the fight plays out. Requiem is up and available. Oduwamne has gone all in on Whirlib. It's going to go play full trickster. First blood secured for Whirlib, but it will be a Requiem. No! Well, able to land a very easy cocoon as Whirlib face checks. Chumma Waters is not available for a few more seconds. It may not even be needed. Playful Trickster will secure the kill, but look how much damage Whirlib's already putting out. Yeah, I mean, this front, there's no blue buff, my friend. Repel up from Matonyaka, there's nowhere to go, and he is down. Pepe Nero gets the kill. Double Doge. Here we go. We'll see how they perform. Whirlib, the man that Deficio wants to watch, flashes in. He's already 1v1. Oduwamne, but he will go down to reuse Karthus. Even behind his own tower, he will be going down. Kyanin gets the kill. Uh, uh, Whirlip has teleported in. Here comes Pepe Nero as well. The Requiem is being channeled, and it won't be enough for a kill. Whirlip is trying to put the pillar down. He finds himself with Tong Yaka once more. Now Kasing's trying to escape. Gold card pulled. It will hold Kasing in place as the buster shot. He's going to get a big shield from Agony's Embrace, but it's not enough. That was a terrible flank with no support. Proly is smiling for days as H2K are extending their gold lead. Make it work. I'll ask you to reply on that in a moment as Oduwamne. He's going to get caught out. The Pillar of Ice will prevent his escape. And kill credit should go to Whirlib. Chomped for his fourth kill of the game. Elise oh, as well. Wow. You have an insane team of taking down Barons. Look at the HP. We're 20 minutes in, guys, by the way. Whirlib is coming, though. Whirlib. Flash has available. Barons down to 1,500. 20 seconds. It's secured. H2K have got it. But how many will they lose? Reuse down. He's going to start channeling the Requiem. It cannot be avoided. H2K stay in the pit. They've picked up a kill onto Godfred. Frederick is trying to rampage across. The hate spikes are not enough.
Flash out now, and he is fine. Now a dive coming in from H2K. Kasing has put down the unbreakable will. Pepe Nero is out without that flash or that destiny. No vision. Hyonan may get taken down from Audrey. Audrey's alive on the back line, but it's Fredericks that's got the double kill. Requiem's being channeled. He's going to get one with the defile and no more with the Requiem. I take it back as one more lay waste will correct that. I want to see where this uh, blasting wand goes for Ryu, but Pepe Nero, wow, he's jumped in and he's taken so much damage, he's dead before Ryu can get killed, and Ryu stays alive. And he has been gifted a few kills here and there, but for H2K, they got down one tower in the mid game, but considering their power, they can now take more. Wurlip is down, finds himself caught out by three members of H2K. He had the support of Godfred and may have felt more comfortable than he should have. Chum the Waters is going to connect on Godfred and Oduwam is trying to chase out Adri. Godfred falls. Oh, everybody from Giants are falling. Three members down. H2K. Constantly trying to CC slow down people with these flanks coming in. Dum, dum, Zing, dum. The pillar comes down. Vision is up there from Destiny. All of H2K are grouped. And Godfred, he's going to throw out the Fisher before he runs away. Shut down kill onto Ryu. But he's in the middle of the jungle. Frederick and Wurlip, they're trying to do what they can. But Frederick's down. Wurlip's down. Three for two. Audrey follows suit. Pepe and Godfred. Oh, trade. The last trade. one alive. That's right. Ryu death defied caught out. Wurlip decides to engage. He's being exhausted. Here comes Pepe into the middle of the fight. He gets a gold card down before flashing out. Ryu's in the middle of the lane, channeling that Requiem. They've traded one for one so far, and again, another dramatic fight. Frederick is going to get the reset to run away. It ends up being a three for two, but H2K have got more carries alive. Jungle and support. H2K have got Super Minion pushing down. Yeah, there's no wave clear at all. There's the Tristana. H2K are looking for these Nexus turrets now. Another messy fight, as you just said, but it's just two teams smacking the heads against each other over and over. Chum the Waters is on Freddy, and Freddy's going to jump away. Not going to be enough. Kasing gets the headbutt pulverized. The laser's burning down the cow, but Hyanan's going to take out the Nexus turret. He's got one. Turns his attention to another. Super minions are in the base. The Nexus is going down, and Giants will not be alive quickly enough. H2K will be sending Giants to the regional qualifier and will be advancing to face Origin in the semi-finals. With you guys throughout the series to see who you guys think is going to be victorious. So keep updating your votes throughout the series. Tweet at Elevel Esports. Use the hashtag TIP win or hashtag DIG win to let us know who you think is going to win this one. It's going to be a very interesting match, guys. The beginning of the North American LCS quarterfinals are here. Team Impulse versus Team Dignitas. The power here that they're able to swap Kogma back you know, post level six. Kiwi can actually go in aggressive at the wrong time oh, here. Rush comes in. And Kiwi now forced to run away, but Exhaust is on after the ult's already popped. He's got no escape summoners left. Cocoon, who gets the kill? They're gonna, oh! They're gonna try to give it to Apollo. There you go, first blood of the 80 carry team impulse. Starting out strong. Yeah, and it happens right before 15 minutes as well. So a pretty slow early game we see now, but the catalyst to create a big fight. Careful though, because Zeke's Harbinger is in, so Kogma can be incredibly scary. And fight, Rush wants in! He's going for the battle! Does not land this fight, that goes to Helios, but the fight has begun all the same. Rush in the front line, Apollo zoned out. Uh, an ulti only knocks really Adrian in, and the fight continues as Rush picks up a kill. Goths is a second casualty, and this could be pretty nice. He looks at the trade kill, but it's a three for one so far, and Impulse run away with a very clean battle for themselves. Yeah. Complete control this game, back at the mid lane they go. No turret to kill, but they can push Team Dignitas around. And Gage comes in on a rush. This is the battle, big burst of damage. And wow, they almost knock on the support. They get it. Core JJ, the first kill, the fight. Oh, now rush down. to the side. He wants Gamsu, gets him in, but Apollo's still around. Apollo can do so much damage. They're gonna stop him by some time. There's a jump on in, he's one hit away. They get him. The shutdown via Shifter, the chase on in. That's, That's the eighth for Team Dignitas. Could be better too. One after the other, Team Impulse just had poor positioning and deaths. That's exactly the mistake that Team Dignitas was waiting for. With Baron being up, they're wondering if Team Dignitas Ooh. jumps in. Here it Pops goes. the ultimate. Of course, the ultimate. The Janet is engaged. Oh. Agent's forced to run. The teleport comes in, and it is Meganar. He flash ults. He catches Rush, and Rush goes down. A rampage for Core JJ, and the fight continues. A kill back for Gate. Impact trying to run. Tonson dies. Oh, a double Gate. kill now. And Gate, into the red flag. Gate does what he can. A triple kill, and a are you kidding me? Gates able to salvage that bad start at 
at the beginning there. Rush gets taken out. Adrian had to blow his ultimate on himself. Impact even used the Shen ult on Adrian. But Apollo free firing from the back line. That's the power of that free firing Kogma. Infinity Edge completed, Freak. Yeah. There's and, your DPS. And the free firing Nasher's Death Cap Azir when everyone funnel into that choke point. Now the question is with these 40 minute yes. level death timers and a siege minion can tip end. It's just Alistair with no ult, but he's got flash, but there's still a oh. cannon minion up. They can shove the wave in. Agent doesn't need to take this yet. Just get oh, the minion man. wave in. And here this comes the damage output. I Two know. seconds on Alistair. The crit's up, I which know, doesn't matter they, much. I mean, Kiwi Kid has, has, has no ultimate Five to try seconds. to take this. He's Five only seconds. wanting to headbutt the damage away. Headbutt him away. Adrian's doing some damage. <laughs> He's doing what he can with auto attacks. Here comes oh, the Echo. The Echo. The Echo. The from Shen. Shift in should be enough. There's the game. Team Impulse take game one in 40 minutes. Well, I think it's safe to say that's not exactly the game we expected. Please keep sharing your series predictions. Tweet hashtag DIG win or hashtag TIP win to at level esports over on Twitter. We'll update the fan vote once we are back on the rift. There's the team comps on your screen. We're getting ourselves ready to get into the game. Game two, Impulse one, game one. It's time for Dignitas to see if they can fire back. It's best of five. Gets in behind them. Remember, the Not Leona spotted. swap was the big Ooh. change here for Impulse. They want to utilize that. CC from the support role. Ooh, good flash oh, by him. Exhaust on though. Goodbye. Nothing else for 4J to do. Ooh. And they get the first blood. Goes to Elise. Not a bad target for it. All fed and done. First blood, he mimples. Rushes around. The E comes in. They want Kiwi Kid. Goes right back out there. Adrian gets stunned up. Takes some damage. There's a shadow. Do they want this fight after all? Teleport comes in though. Gamsu is going to arrive. Who goes down first? It is not Kiwi Kid. Ooh. They don't get the damage. They don't get the damage. Impact has the aggro. Gamsu canceled his teleport, didn't show up after all. I'm not sure he should have canceled. Yeah, oh, that would have been a much picked up kills there. Yeah, that was a very interesting choice right there. They kind of dove really hard. They oh, stick no. around. No, Helios. Oh, Helios. I didn't see that one coming. Cocoon to the death. Input to walk away. Shifter looking to roam. And Shadow Dash is already down. There are no <laughs> escapes left for Impact. Ignite comes in. He's going to go down. A kill goes over to Gamsu. Nicely dope. There's your shift, there's shift yeah. fifth Shifter roam. Dad. It's incredibly important that that roam work for Shifter as well. Rush though, 1v3, kind of. Ulti in for Kiwi Kid. The stun is dodged by Repel, but still gets hit up by the passive. Shadow back health, up. They can go. Ulti by Adrian. And they get one back. It's actually mid lane turret going down to gate. And now the push keeps going on. Low health on Adrian. Gate finally showing up. Flashes, gets the wild growth. Adrian oh. did not have to flash out, though. Miscommunication. Helios will walk away. Didn't tell yeah. Adrian that he was on the way. The fight continues, though. Shenna's they ulti. Circle yeah. around. Now Shen is actually alive to use the ulti. There's the teleport. Does and get again. canceled again. But now they can dive because it's a 4v2. That one should have completed. the button in the first place, but he's going to cancel right away. Nowhere to go. Helios gets taken out by Gate. Assist goes to the Kog'Ma. Corey today for certain dead. Tries to get some oh. damage. Does not quite kill off Apollo. It was close. But a double kill for Gate. Power up to the top lane here. They're just going to bully off. That's a big Nice oh. job. He's going to get oh. two men stunned. Shettle popped in. Here we go. It's a four versus three right now. Slow only lands. On the Kiwi Kid, Rush has aggro still. He can't Rush is gonna die for this one. <laughs> Gate did it. Okay, he's fine. He got a summon heal. <laughs> Here and that can always be a risk as you go on. Yeah, still at this, still at this point in the game though, Lulu is a significant portion Absolutely. of damage because uh, he's Absolutely. just maxing out her Q. Uh, does have uh oh, Whoa, shifter down quite low, gets away so cleanly. Turret does go down, but there's still some damage coming across. Javelin lands. There's the engage bunch onto Apollo. He goes down. They pick up the primary AD carry. And Adrian now playing with defensive CC, but a double kill for Core JJ. Yeah, Gate was not there in Rush order well. to shield. Uh-oh, he loses move speed, transferring into human form here. Oh, and a shot. And that's going to hit him too. Helios from downtown lands the Javelin. Rush gonna stick around at Dragon. They, go to both. they make Dignitas respond to Flash Stun. They catch Helios. There's the ulti. What a beautiful Ooh. pickoff. Apollo gets the kill. Into the back line goes Shifter, but there's not enough damage coming through. He survives with the face, the Mountain Shield. Another catch on to Gamsu. Down to half HP. Rush still around. Looking for a bit more. Two men, our ulti buys some time. But Dignitas forced to run away. They lose two kills. That is. I'm gonna set their defense up. How much damage can they do? Apollo actually going for the enemy champions, but. 
mean, they didn't even have Cast in there at the start. They're getting the whole thing right now, and the fight! And it's gone, and there's the stun, and there's the engage. Kimikin buys a bit of time, jumps away, actually will survive for now. And there's a Naruti, they catch Apollo! Is the burst enough? He's trying nope. to get away. Lulti catches herself, actually, not the AD carry, but there's still some follow-through. One kill traded on both sides, Shifter gets out, Core JJ does not! And a Glitterlance long range picks up the second kill of the battle. Inhibitor is open. Inhibitor's there. Wow. In that fight, Adrian stunned Shifter after the ultimate and before he could get off his Force Pulse to follow up in our ultimate. He was on that, knowing what was going to be coming in. Team Impulse with two dead on the enemy side, are really looking to push this one for a fast win. Gonna be an inhibitor and now a Nexus turret going down. They're staying in the four versus three. They're missing rush, but they don't seem to care. The engage on a Kiwi kid, but no! Apollo gets the rampage, but the kill still goes back to the other support. Gate dies for this one, and an over aggression, maybe? Only Helios left alive. One versus two. There's minions I mean, here, Nars but there's so now. many respawning. Uh -oh. Apollo's yeah. gonna die for this one, and no. Pack's gonna be next. And yes, an overdive by Impulse. They should get this kill. Don't Can flash. he dash over the wall? It dashes up now. Yep. Gets away from the slow. Good. But he doesn't run as fast as these guys. They've got move blocks too. Run away from the brush. Oh, uh, the slow's in. What? Yeah, he's gonna get the speed boost too. Yeah, Mercury Treads reducing the duration of the slow. He can, Another no wall! speed boost there. <laughs> dashes up, dashes up. He can get over this one. He's fine. <laughs> all right. Uh, all things said and done, a front end of team fights, but it's the re-engage that seems to be crushing them again and again. Rush with some flank position. Here's a re-engage. And Core JJ slowed down by Chilling Spite, slowed down by Riley's, can't get away. A solo kill for Rush. That could be the game-winning pick. Out goes Shifter, slowed down. Runs, runs, runs away. Rift walks as well. Scrap and find some picks. That unfortunately did not work here for Team Dignitas, but now the battle will resume. No loot yet in this fight. The battle begins. Rush knocked around a fair bit. Agent also taking a bit of damage, but still there's plenty of durable tanks to buy some time. Gate has joined the fight. Ulti knocks up a few, and one kill already comes through. The kill goes for Agent. Now one for Apollo as well. The chase down continuing a shifter. Also going to drop a double kill for the Kog'Maw. Three picked up. Into the base they go. This should be the game for Team Impulse. All right. That started off as a 2v5. Yes, and they were unpunished. They kill three, lose none. They're refreshing this inhibitor. They're probably taking two. And like you said, probably taking a 2-0 lead in the series. All right, 37 minutes and 30 seconds. A bit faster than the last time around, but it's a much more convincing win. All said and done. 16 to 9 in kills. The Nexus will fall. 2-0 start for Team Impulse. They are one game away from the semifinals. Send hashtag TIP winner, hashtag DIG win to at Elevable Esports. I have a feeling the uh, toy gangplank will be uh, maybe a, a vote upper here for the guys, the Dignitas fans. We're getting ourselves into the game. Can Dignitas pull it back if they lose? This is the end of their season. Team Impulse to win. And he didn't lose out minorly on these trades. It's not done yet here. Rush comes in to finish the job. This turret very low. Good defensive ward there from Gamsu. Does see it. No Kimikin, summoners no on Cuban Kid, buddy. Heal. That's not the AD carry. No heal. He's done. Cuban Kid, one hit to go. There's the repel. There's there the auto go. attack. First blood for Rush. And the turret now. Look out, down. Gamsu. <laughs> Look out, they don't actually finish the turret off. They're just gonna go towards him. Hit up pulverized oranges used, but it's not gonna be K. Gangplank going down. Apollo. Impact's getting Dome on the other side. Oh my gosh, but it's not really enough. Corey J can't do enough damage. He does, loses a Impact lot of health in that one. doesn't have flash, though. Oh, and Rick's eye shooting him from below. But Helios is low as well. A failed dive by Team Dignitas, outplayed by Impact, it seems. The team able to keep playing aggressively. Bottom lane, Adder turns dead. So the whole team roams up here. Four men on top of the blue buff. They deny this from Shifter. Two men knock if they really want this fight. And fire back on the Adrian who pops zone ulti. Light takes away the blue buff, and now the battle push is on. Kiwi can get, get dropped out. Gate gets the kill here. And Elise. Gate has definitely showed up. No ultimate for Adrian, though. That's trouble. Takes a whole bunch of damage. One hit away from dead. There's a push on it. Oh, no! Oh, oh, big one! Barely gets the rocket out in time. Exhaust or not. No trade kill available. Nice pickup for Dignitas, showing signs of life. Dignitas trying to huddle together here. Damage on the Kiwi Kid, down to half HP. Rush chasing him down with the Cinder Hole. Oh, Jeez. misses the combo, Adrian. Not gonna feel good about that one. Exhausted to Corte Day. Kill still comes through. Shout out to Adrian as well. And they're still looking for someone to knock down. They've already picked up one. Helios may be the second. Explosive oh. charge is on. Double kill, actually. The kills just keep going Shifter over to though. Rush. Yeah, a couple of trades back. Nice and done Shifter picks up another one. Corte J helping out. And now Impact on the wrong side of this fight. Adrian in the wrong spot as well. Still a kill picked up, though. Now on to Shifter they go. So just come around, more damage coming through. Will they get impact in time? 
<laughs> Maybe the passive does Get it. Get him! Summoner healed, he stays alive! Wow! Kate Seven of three kills. heal on Azir, and it saves him at the end right there. Impulse with the Ghost, the Flash from Sifter, and the Flash from Core JJ. Rut row. Yeah, yeah, not Core a good JJ thing. Knows. Summoners, get the lantern, he wants it! <laughs> Core JJ, okay, he gets out of the lantern, gets out, but there's the two-man pulverize. Follow-up damage isn't there. Good play oh, back. No. Gate is here. The knockback catches the AD carry clean in the jaw. And now Kiwi Kid's also going to go down here. Rocket jump in. Rush with his fifth kill of the game. Maybe the dive here. I mean, they, I mean, they don't have to dive if they can down just to half it down. What, yeah, what go. even stops them there? Okay, Gangplank ulti buys some time. They got they Adrian's ultimate out and hooked him back in. They do hook him in, but there's a flash. Oh, God. Kiwi Kid's already dead. Exhaust in the back line to get one kill back, though. Shifter picks shit. one up, but Helios. Pretty low on this one. One more hit, I'll do it. Double kill for Gate. Now rushing the wrong side, flashes, dodges the rocket. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, they got Shifter! And they take him down. Now, can he get much more? Core JJ wants in. He gets a lot of kills picked up. Actually, it's a four for three in advantage to Team Dignitas. One or two autos in Gate pressing W on Whoa. it could do it. Another engage, they catch on the Kiwi Kid. Uh, Aggro, though, goes on to someone who is not Ooh. the Alistair, though. They nearly pick up Impact, who pops his ultimate, can't Over save aggression. the Tristana. Gangplank's doing so much damage at the second kill in the last five minutes here. The chase on Adrian, trying to run away. Barrows hits him! That's gonna be one picked up, I assume. Pulverize and a headbutt, not gonna be enough. Gamsu on a killing spree, I'm... and it's Infinity Edge. Gangplank gonna do so much work. Another mistake, well, he doesn't have it. That was just the biggest bluff in the world by Impact. His support was so far behind. Team Dignitas had the window to burst down that Baron, but they did not have the vision to, to oh. go it. Flashlight catches Rush, but he has nowhere to jump. He's going to go right back down, slow with the box. The catch! Gate. Oh. On to Gate! Gate knocks him in. He flashes out. He stays safe. Impact burns the TP, burns the ulti, rather, into the front line. They go, and they've picked off Shifter. They've picked off Gamsu, two of the biggest Carry threats are gone. Court JJ the third is down. That might be the game. Unbelievable right there. Team Dignitas holds out so well, but it's a fight Ooh. that they pick yet again that could be their undoing. The double summoner spending there from Gate, getting himself out, and the re-engage from Adrian. Team Impulse looks like they will be able to close out the third game. Not it's so all, cleanly, though. Not so cleanly, but it was all Impulse wanted, just a fight a 5v5 on open ground. No turrets to defend you this time around. And the battle works out. A 3 for 0 to end it. That's going to be the game. Rush, 7, 2, and 8. The scoreline for him. 3-0. Team Impulse into the semifinals. Big win for them as they try and move towards Worlds as well. Locking themselves down at least a top four spot.